I had a request to take the Sportsman inverter generator and use its DC output to charge a battery. I have my snapper rear engine rider with its original 2009 battery in it that is dead. So I thought this may be a good point to take my voltage meter, get a pre-charge voltage reading, even though this is a dead battery, and then hook up the DC output charging on this inverter generator, charge it for an hour, and then read the voltage again and see if it made a difference. So let's give it a try. As you can see, this battery is dead, 10.72 volts. Let's hook it up to the inverter generator for an hour and see if we can increase that any. I had to stop the charging at 50 minutes rather than going to the full hour, but as you can see, I got 12.81 volts after 50 minutes of charging. So the DC charging and the DC output on this Sportsman inverter generator works very, very well. The only downsides that I noticed were these cables are only about five feet long. So that creates a, a length issue. You gotta be close to what you're charging. So that would be a real problem if you're trying to reach up to a car, if it's like a tall truck or something. And also, this DC output doesn't have any monitoring or sensing capability. So you wouldn't want to have a full generator full of gas and a battery that you're just wanting to top off because it could actually put too much voltage into your battery. But that's it for the DC charging on the Sportsman Inverter Generator. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.